You understand? Okay, that means what if I spend a certain time, okay, an amount of uh, 30 minutes or one hour for uh, reading a book, what I'm going to get, okay? Am I becoming knowledgeable than I before? Of course you can, okay? And what if I spend some time, okay, 20 minutes or 15 minutes over Facebook, okay, or uh, communicating with, uh, or, uh, talking with your friend, okay, or mobile phone, okay, or spending your, uh, uh, your uh, precious time uh, surfing some uh, uh, things on a, uh, in a, or, uh, in a Google or uh, using Facebook or uh, Instagram or WhatsApp. Okay, that means it's not that uh, you're uh, spending time. Okay, you should not spend time in that case. Uh, yeah, in that case, you should live your time. You should live your life rather than spending. Spending is like uh, spending your money. Okay, so money, you can get back money but not the time. So that's the difference between money and the time. So in that case, money, uh, time is important to us than money. So if you're regarding time, then you must regard your each and every act, okay, in, on daily routine, okay, on daily basis. Then you must have a knowledge, okay, you must have some certain amount of awareness while using phone. That means phone can be used for a different purpose, Okay, but within that, what you're using and for what purpose, okay, the amount or the frequency of time that you're spending for a certain things while using phone, okay, for our ICT purposes, you know, in the school, okay, in the classroom, well, for a Facebook or to communicate with, a, or to chat with a, a friend, okay, because while you're spending five minutes or 10 minutes, you are actually spending your life. Okay, you should think in that way. Okay, that means you should think in a very universal, global perspectives. Okay, so uh, you must not think like, hey, what happens if I spend five minutes for a mobile phone? Okay, so spending five minutes is okay. But if that becomes addictive, then you are become a psychological slave to the mobile phone. Okay, not just a mobile phone, you can uh, what compare with any other devices. Okay, that means the time means a lot here. So, uh, spending is not just like uh, what? That means, uh, I mean to say, uh, it's all about our uh, conscience, our decision making, the capacity to decide, okay, to judge what is what, okay, how much is what, okay, and uh, uh, how much time should be spent on a certain things, okay? It's not that a life is pre-planned that you should spend your time in a certain way. You should uh, what uh, put a timetable to your life on a daily basis that uh, uh, you, should, you should spend, okay? 10, uh, 10 to 10.30, okay, for a mobile phone. Okay, after that, certain things. Not like that. You should, you should not uh, pre-plan your life or a daily routine, okay? Don't take it in that way. But there must be certain awareness while using phone, not just a phone, any other things, okay? So then we will be able to make use of our time, okay? Our devices, okay? Our surroundings, okay? So then we will become a better citizens, okay? With a much awareness of using things, okay? So this mobile phone things can be applied to many other things, okay? So in that case, you should use the phone constructively, okay, mobile phone, okay, or books, or a play, or a sports, or any other things for that matter. So you should use it for a constructively, okay, to help yourself and to the others, okay, while using or while spending your time, okay, you should think globally, okay, like what's the use of it? Okay, you should not uh, think in uh, all the uh, all the things. Okay, in a utilitarian perspectives. Okay, that means if we can't think everything on uh, what's the use or uh, uh, what's the loss of this thing uh, of using certain things. Okay, it's not about the uh, gain benefits and the loss of the certain things. Okay, we should not think. Okay, because life is larger than the this profit or loss.
okay that the kind of experience that life provides that's most important than a, a gain or a profit or a loss okay that's a mere ca- calculation okay for a certain period but we should think beyond that so in that case we should have a conscience we should have a certain capacity or a capability of a judgment okay over using a mobile phone then only you will come to know okay then only you you will come to know the value of your time in general and the value of time okay on particular of uh, spending time with a mobile phone okay reading books or a classroom okay or chatting with your friends okay so in that way you have to decide in that way you have to think okay in that way you have to analyze your routine okay i think uh, that's a better way of uh, living your life okay spending your time with uh, certain things okay and uh, especially with a mobile phone okay so like mobile phone every other things every other devices has its own merits and demerits okay it's up to you to use okay it's not that a mobile phone has a mobile phone is uh, uh, forcing you to use uh, facebook or instagram or spend hours together okay it's you that you are deciding okay whether to use it or not to what extent okay and for what purposes and what's a gain and loss of loss of it okay it's you you are deciding okay so everything is in you then okay to decide or not to decide to use or not to use to get the profit or not okay so it's every but it's everything about you then you have to decide okay so for what purposes using mobile phone of course this is a what something a modern discovery okay so if you could use it for a betterment okay for a better purposes then uh, that will take you to certain heights okay then you will become yeah. a very good uh, can i man can i disturb you mr pradeep yeah 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 so yeah. yes. in what purposes the mobile can be used our students will deal that hmm. so, okay i hope you have given a good introduction to the mobile phone hmm. so i expect the students to communicate the advantage that in what way they can utilize the mobile phone in good way either bad way i think they know because they are degree students hmm. and there is one more guest from the uh, hyderabad from hyderabad our uh, uh, old friend he is none other than sridhar balya so i welcome you mr sridhar balya yeah I feel ah really yeah good evening everyone nice to see you both are uh, very, you know what are roommates in eflu i feel very happy <laughs> to see you yeah now yeah. sridhar balya will take uh, at least two minutes talk on a mobile phone at least uh, in what way we can utilize for study purposes the way he uses every day if you tell your experience how you use for your sake for your academic sake we are students also the academicians no 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 you teacher and student is not separate they are both are equal identity i feel so please share your experience how do you use the mobile phone in your daily life mr sridha and uh, pradeep yeah. uh, you have work i know uh, uh, thank mm. you very much for attending uh, despite of your uh, busy schedule please continue your 400 book novel uh we feel mm-hmm. uh, yeah it is a tedious but you are studying 400 novel in your night means uh, really no, no, not 400 400 pages no yeah 400 oh you are saying title yeah. okay yeah, 400 yeah. pages means at least uh, our students also habituating uh, gradually mm. we will also buy books That's good yeah we have so many plans mm. we will also reach you one day mm. yeah thank nice you nice to have a uh, stider taken over the session yeah okay. you can go and read your book oh thank you thank you for thank attending. you balu yeah yeah sure thank you, you say thanks to my students because they have given yeah. you chance yes yes thank you dear students for giving me opportunity to talk to you on a mobile phone thank you very much and also you yeah. are talking about hold on phone. for a minute no you are using <laughs> mobile phone in this uh, google meet <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah of course yes. mobile phone or mobile phone or mobile phone yeah the topic is on and you are using mm. the mobile over mobile okay thank yeah, you yeah yeah topic is on 
but the way we are uh, using yeah through yes, mobile sridhar you're saying something no uh, nothing if you give a... me chance opportunity to speak i'll take so, over it and move on <laughs> okay uh, very good evening everyone uh, good evening sir so, balu yeah balu has been doing a wonderful tremendous work and i am a best friend of him and i am best to follow to him too uh one thing i have to really uh, consider to take that after 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock after particular class hours or college hours we are the people to go home spend our personal uh, social life uh, with whatever we we will do but out of that taking something into consideration this is the best usage of phones internet to learn something uh, to learn communication so balu has taken a nice initiation to bring up all the students in a particular google uh, google classroom platform and uh, making everyone to learn so this is obviously a good advantage i tell so since pradeep has been telling uh, there are advantages and disadvantages one thing we need to do is every individual student should think about the positive ways how can i make my mobile to utilize to build a proper future so that is utmost important so social media some other platforms we are involved in it there are n number of things that we can learn from social media any podcast any other things so the internet dani yakiva mobiles gadgets our technical uh, technical equipments that we have are all here to help us learn something it is not to give us entertainment it is not to uh, uh, engage our time or something there is something invented there is something invention happened there is something manufactured there is something discovered for our bet- better society b- for our better uh, future so that is the positive side that we need to take as youngsters make use of cell phones every day how do you do is the question to get experience something like learn daily and you know i would like to ask question most of people use cell phones how many of you do how many of you have dictionaries in it dictionary apps probably you are using play store dictionary apps 1 2 3 4 how many do we really have something related to gk something related to political science something uh, related to any learning apps there are n number of learning apps available daily we get notifications we are addicted to find notifications from whatsapp facebook snapchat or something but this is a good learning experience that we can have so this is the advice that i would like to give to the youngsters uh, balu thank you for giving this a small opportunity no you have not so it is better actually uh, you better unmute yourself balu oh. ha it is better <laughs> we will give mic to students to speak about only advantages so yes. negative uh, the otherwise advan- uh, the otherwise things we do not want how will students use to learn something uh, by using mobile so over to you balu thank you yeah thank you and uh, our students uh, now tell how do they use right now and how will they use uh, we will suggest by the end of just uh, it's going to end of uh, 23 minutes so actually our timing 7:30 to 8:30 only one hour every day for 21 days actually we planned like that so for for uh, 21 days uh, i have read somewhere uh, anything can be a, become can become a habit so that's why we planned 21 days english so there is left only 22 minutes i think 21 minutes left so now i ask every student how do you use you be frank and tell me from since you wake up from the morning okay since you wake up how do you what kind of apps you use mostly and what purposes your smartphone is being used you just express your own opinion truth don't say okay uh, i watch ted talks i watch spotify something like that if it is true you just say yeah there are uh, around 18 students you take 18 minutes 
the last one minute i take and one minute sridhar bale will take i'll start this so since you asked this question to me i would like to answer i would like to start it yeah see every day in the morning i travel to college okay. i sit in the bus it's about one hour one and a half hour journey okay every day i have this times of india app the hindu app the kan chronicles app i just open them up and start reading news start reading articles and there are some gk questions current affairs questions i do get along with the news apart from all this there is something uh, uh, the real focus is to learn communication 